Boomer. I change your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. Yeah, I would beat you when you uh, sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home, you ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. Yo, 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 welcome back to the fifth round. As always, myself, Stephen Mousteris. Um Man, you know, I kind of just broke down again, you know, the UFC fight card this weekend. A little fight night. Um, nothing too crazy i guess you got macy barber in there like i said clay guidos might be his last fight in ufc which i'm highly doubting but you never know and then clearly you got um amanda lamos versus uh, jessica andrage which i kind of broke down as well but um i wanted to kind of focus on uh bellator 278 and 279 this weekend they're going back to back nights i know they're going one tonight and then one tomorrow and uh I don't know. I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on Bellator because I love Bellator. I'm really, I like any, any high level MMA promotion out there, especially anything that can kind of give the UFC a run and make the UFC kind of still, uh, you know, want to stay, you know, light a fire, light a fire under their ass where they're always still trying to like put on great shows and everything. So, um, with that being said though, I feel like, uh, I feel like the, or I feel like Bellator kind of dropping the ball this weekend. If I can be honest here, I know they're doing two shows and everything, and I know they're in Hawaii, which UFC has been dying to do forever, but they can never pull it out. And uh, I don't know, like you got uh, you the Bellator 278 tonight on Friday and 279 tomorrow on Saturday. I've never, I'm not explaining, it, I've never really liked it. Um, just because, I don't know, I kind of wish sometimes that Bellator would just kind of take the... I know they don't want to copy, they want to stay their own, you know, little thing, but I kind of wish sometimes they would take the whole fight night, um, like, idea, instead of always having a pay-per-view or always having a headline, like, you know, Bellator 270, or like some numbered one. I kind of wish sometimes they would take that uh, that idea from the UFC and just kind of run with it, because no offense to Juliana Velasquez or Liz Carmoche tonight, um, I just don't, I don't think that's their own card, like, I think... I think Nikita, Nikita uh, Mikhailov or whatever, I think he's like the only other person that I even know that's on the fight card tonight. And, um, I just I think you could take those two fights and just move them to tomorrow on Bellator 279 where you got Chris Cyborg, you know, headlining. You got Patchy Mix, Juan Archuleta, um, oh, was it Alima? Yeah, Alima McFarlane or whatever, Alima Lay McFarlane. Um, you got all these like really big names in Bellator right now that you could you could really do something with one big card and just make it Bellator two seventy eight tomorrow. So I don't know, like um, like to start off with tonight though, Juliana uh, Velasquez, she uh, I thought when I because I watched her fight uh, Alima Lay McFarland, who I'm a huge fan of. Like not only is she gorgeous, but you know I remember watching them fight in Hawaii. I think the last time and for the belt. And she came out and just absolutely dominated Lima And you don't really see that ever because McFarlane, I think that's still her only loss. And she was on a tear. Like, yeah, she's not finishing people out there and stuff. Like, she had the submissions, don't get me wrong, but uh, just a really good technical fighter. And for her to get dominated all five rounds, it was it was pretty phenomenal. But then, you know, I think she just fought in July. Um, Velasquez did. And I think she had, like, a, a not-so-good performance. And I know usually you kind of you tend to – you know, step up or step down to whoever you're fighting and your opponent really and their skill level. So I'm not taking anything away from her. Every fight's a different fight. So I wouldn't be shocked at all if Liz Carmos, though, does come out and just, you know, kind of grinds her out. Because, I mean, we've seen her for years now everywhere where she's really good at just grinding people out, just real physical, just real strong lady. Wouldn't that be shocked at all seeing her win? Wouldn't be shocked at all seeing Velasquez win. So it's kind of up in the air. Um I am very happy, though, for some reason, the MMA this weekend. It's a huge – all three of the the fight cards are literally headlined by women, so shouts out to women. MMA, I think this is a huge step, um, which, yeah, I guess it leads me into Bellator 279, which is the good one. And they're like I said, they're both in Hawaii, so that's really cool. But Chris Cyborg, you know, I think she's gone – she has a rematch. Um, I think it was like Arlene – oh, I forget her last name. I'm fucking terrible. Anyway, um, I just – she like already beat her once. Um, kind of sitting here. This is the tough part with Cyborg not being in the UFC still, and uh, you know Kayla Harrison not going to either Bellator or the UFC is now that like 
there's not many people that I want to see her fight anymore. Like she's always out here dominating. Um, I think tonight's in the, or tomorrow night's not going to be any different. I think she's still going to dominate, get a dub. Um, she's still looking phenomenal as ever, fast as ever, strong as ever. So I think that's going to be pretty, you know, pretty uh, even. Or not even at all, but I think it's going to stay the same, you know, outcome. I, I know she, like, kind of came out and said she's not going to really push the finish in the first five rounds, but you never know. I think I think maybe, like, a second round. And then um, I think you got, like, Rafa on Stotts versus Juan Archuleta is the co-main, which is a huge fight. Juan Archuleta is always doing the damn thing. Um, they're You know, they got their little Grand Prix going on. Um, I know Rafa on Stotts is, like, 12-1, and 11-1 and one or something, so he's... He's a very good prospect coming up, that's for fucking sure. But I think Juan Artelet always falls into that same category. Like, you know, if you're not if you're not Pitbull or both Pitbull brothers, I guess, like, you know, or even Michael Chandler or something like that along those lines. Like, when he was there, like, he's going to always win. So, I mean, it'll be – this is a huge fight for Rafa Stotts. I would love to see him, you know, make a name for himself, especially over in Bellator. He's got a great record right now looking, so – but Juan Archuleta, I think, is just a whole different beast. I think he's going to pull that one out. Um, we see Alana Lay McFarland as well. She fights. Um, I think she's fighting like a 7-5. and five. Like, yeah, I think her record's 7-5 and five or something she's fighting. So I think, I know that's a Grand Prix as well. I think she's going to run through her. And then I know Patchy, Mitch is take, uh, Patchy Mix is taking on uh, Hayuchi uh, Horigami. Um, or Horiguchi, my bad, sorry. But I think that's going to be a pretty good fucking fight. Um, Patchy Mix is a fucking dog. I think he's like 15 and 1. Um, Kaiuchi, he's been in the game for, for Kaiuchi, however you want to say it. I don't know if the K is silent or not, but he's been he's been in a tear his entire career. I think that'll be a really good fight. Um, I think Patchy's probably going to pull it out. I think the youth is really going to help him. So I don't know, but that's the only thing I really, really have anything to say about Bellator. I really like what they're doing. Um, I like how sometimes they don't have fight cards every weekend, even though I'd like to see fights every weekend. But still, I think it's smart for them to kind of let their fighters get healthy and stack their cards. But I think they kind of dropped the ball this weekend. And I think I know what they're doing. They're in Hawaii. They want to put on two shows. I get it. It's like a comedian trying to put on a couple of shows in the weekend. But I think if they could have put, you know, the two main events, the co-main and main event from 278, which is tonight, and then put it on 279 tomorrow, like I think they could have a really stacked card. And maybe even Katsumai's, especially they're going up against uh, Tyson Fury and uh, Dillian White tomorrow. So that's going to be a tough one. So I don't know. I really like what Bellator is doing. I think we're going to see some amazing fights regardless. Um, I'm going to check in, that's for sure. And I just, uh, yeah, I think uh, I just think that's the only thing I could say about it. I think they dropped the ball a little bit, but who the hell am I? I'm no promoter or anything. Scott Coker knows what he's doing. So, you know, it's whatever. But hey, this has been the fifth round as always. Your boy, Stephen Musteris. And. Let's go, baby. It's a huge fight weekend. Let's go.